Camilla felt intimidated by Princess Anne, who displayed an abrasive attitude towards her following a feud within the royal family. Hi, before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Camilla Parker Bowles found herself in a whirlwind of unease upon entering the royal fold, with Princess Anne proving to be a formidable force. Author Penny Juna reveals that Anne's demeanor left Camilla feeling daunted. Juna describes the Princess Royal as a complex character, known for her sharp edges. She speculates that Anne's past connection with Camilla's ex-husband, Andrew Parker, may have fueled the initial animosity. In an interview with Channel 5, Juna suggests, the affair between Andrew and Anne amounted to nothing, but their affection for each other was undeniable. And that bond remains strong. Camilla has always struggled with this, partly due to the affair. But Princess Anne is no easy opponent. She possesses a certain sharpness that can be quite abrasive. Over the years, Camilla has found herself somewhat intimidated by her. Ironically, it was through Anne's relationship with Andrew that Camilla crossed paths with Prince Charles, leading to their own brief affair. Juna suggests a tit-for-tat dynamic at play, stating, while Charles was involved with Princess Anne, Camilla was introduced to him and had a fling. It seems there was a sense of reciprocity in Camilla's relationship with Charles. The man she loved was having a dalliance with Princess Anne. What's good for one is good for the other. Camilla initially married Andrew in 1973 after her split from Charles, who later wed Princess Diana in 1981. Despite their separate paths, Camilla and Charles remained close, causing strain between the Prince and Princess of Wales until their eventual separation in 1992. Eventually, Camilla and Charles rekindled their romance and tied the knot in 2005. Andrew attended the wedding and continues to maintain a positive relationship with the royal family, Ms. Juna also highlights in the captivating documentary, The Royals at War, how Camilla had fallen deeply and passionately in love with Andrew, fearlessly taking on Anne in the process. It was rumored that Camilla had a reputation for her boldness when it came to dealing with love rivals. The complex love triangle between Andrew, Anne, and Camilla was vividly portrayed in the third season of the acclaimed series, The Crown. Despite their complicated history, Camilla, Charles, Anne, and Andrew all found themselves together in the prestigious Royal Ascot this year, sharing the illustrious Royal Box. Joining them in the Royal Box at Ascot were Prince Edward and Sophie. Countess of Wessex, both Camilla and Anne seem to be embarking on exciting new chapters in the near future. The Duchess of Cornwall has taken on the role of patron for the Mirabel Centre in Lagos, Nigeria, a groundbreaking establishment as the country's first sexual assault referral centre. Given her long-standing advocacy for domestic abuse and sexual assault victims, this appointment holds immense significance for her. In a heartfelt statement, the Duchess expressed her delight at becoming the patron of the Mirabel Centre in Lagos. She praised the organization as a trailblazer, providing crucial support to survivors of rape and sexual assault as they navigate their healing and pursuit of justice. The Duchess expressed deep gratitude towards the dedicated staff and volunteers at Mirabel. Meanwhile, the Princess Royal, known for her unwavering determination, may make history by assuming the prestigious role of Captain General of the Royal Marines, becoming the first woman to hold this esteemed position. Insiders have revealed that Anne is eagerly interested in taking on this role. In alignment with the royal family's strong ties to the military, she currently serves as the patron of the Royal Navy and Royal Marines charity, as well as holding the position of Commodore-in-Chief for Portsmouth. The Queen's beloved daughter shared a close bond with her late father, Prince Philip who was renowned for his deep affection for the British Armed Forces. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.